Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. That little clip that you saw was just a baby sparrow that I saw on the ground. It is that time of year again where the baby birds are trying to fly and sometimes succeeding and sometimes failing. This one seemed okay. He was able to fly away just fine. I always like to check up on them just because I know the cats will make a tasty meal out of those little ones pretty easily. So I always try to make sure that I can help them at least get farther away from the barn where the cats are. <laughs> but they're, they're so funny and so cute. Right now I'm going over to get the skid steer so that I can drill some holes for some railway ties to continue working on my goat pens. So here we are, the skid loader, and I'm gonna be grabbing an attachment that hooks on here to be able to drill some holes into the ground. It's a lot easier than digging them out yourself. So basically what I've got here is this railway tie it's already in the ground, and I'm gonna be taking this one that's kind of resting against it, putting it nine feet away by this dot here. I'm gonna be making a panel like this, and then resting it against it. So then the idea is that I have a panel that I can take off, and then in the spring, after the winter, because my plan is to winter the goats in this pen, I'm going to be building a shelter here as well. So then after the winter, I can take that panel off, clean it out real quick with the bobcat instead of shoveling out a bunch of goat manure by hand. Because in a pen this size, not very appealing, to be honest. So we're making it so that I can easily clean that out with the bobcat. And then once I have that done, the panel will go up and then I'm gonna be making a man gate here between these two posts. And then we're pretty much done. And then I'm actually expecting some new additions. So hopefully I'll have this pen done by the time they're here. I'm not too worried about it, but Really excited. <laughs> got the post in the ground and I've got the peanut gallery over there <laughs> uh, but I have a level to make sure that it's straight and then this thing to pound in the dirt next to it because if you don't this is pretty heavy usually it's like a square on the bottom this works just as well but if you don't pack in the dirt properly then it's really likely that the post will eventually sag to like one side or the other and we don't want that to happen, so it's good to just pack the dirt in right away when you're putting the dirt in. It's a little bit time consuming. It's all to make sure that the building that you're, it's all to make sure that the structure that you're building is good and sound, so it's all worth it in the end. <laughs> And that is solid. It's not going anywhere. So now the next step is to build a panel to lay across this one and that one. I'll like lay against it, I guess. You'll see what I mean. And then just to make sort of like a little 
extra tiny bit of fence here and then a door and then this one is done for now I'm so excited to see it finished so I went ahead and trimmed these pieces to size so now I'm going to put this main frame for this panel together There we go. Base piece done. I did measure the other panels over there to see where these exactly like sat, what measurement. So I made sure that the space between here was the same as that panel. And I'm not very technical with these kinds of things. You could say I redneck my way through it a little bit. Um, <laughs> obviously not as much as some people do, but it looks neat and it looks tidy, so that's what's most important to me. I am not a professional carpenter by trade, so I think this is pretty good. So there we go, the pen is finished. I had my mom help me with this piece with the wire because she's the queen of wire working when it comes to cages. And so I built this door. I'm gonna end up putting some sort of a lock system here, but right now I've got the good old fashioned wooden piece <laughs> and that's the whole door it's kind of big but I like that because then I don't have to crouch or you know like slide through or anything so this is what it looks like very nice and spacious so I think we might end up actually putting in the females with babies and the other females that don't need to be with the buck anymore so it's really nice and sheltered and super tall and it's it's 100% ready for goats now so I'm really excited so still no babies from this lady yet uh, but she's starting to hollow out a little bit and one thing that I mentioned last video were that the ligaments were starting to soften or that I was looking for them and I didn't really explain what that meant. So, when a goat's ligaments are softening or when they are completely gone, like softened completely, it means that they're going to be kidding within 12 to 24 hours of that complete disappearance of the ligaments. So typically you'll look at them in this general area and you can feel for them kind of by looking like this. So I can still feel hers. This area here has really become like super jelly already. 
and her vulva is actually kind of swelling so she's due really soon and she's starting to nest so that's good uh, but that's just what the what I mean when I say the ligaments are softening it happens with cows too so with Bella and Roxy it was basically just textbook you couldn't feel the ligaments anymore and they had their babies in like 12 hours of us noticing that the ligaments were gone and I'm finding it to be a little bit more difficult with Payette. I don't know if that's because she's a different breed or if she's just bigger, but she has been a little bit more difficult for me to read when it comes to her ligaments. So Roxy and Bella were actually, you know, really easy. You were, we were checking them every day and then all of a sudden no ligaments. So we knew exactly that that was when they were going to kid. So. This lady is not softened up completely yet. Um, and her udder still has a little bit of hardening to do, I think. But she's looking pretty good. But she's obviously still nimble enough to try climbing, so. <laughs> But I think I'm gonna end the video there, you guys. I promise that more non-goat content is coming. <laughs> I know there's been a lot lately. People have asked for a colostrum video, which I did promise a while ago, which is also coming. And I will try to do some more horse riding videos as well. So that's on its way. And some calf feeding videos as well, hopefully, and some milking and just everything else that I've uh, neglected to videotape in the last little while but the goats have been really the forefront of everything just because these are the first kiddings that we've ever had happen on the farm so we wanted to dedicate all of our time to that and I feel that the kiddings probably went better because of that so I hope you guys can understand why the focus was really goat 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 <laughs> but it'll start to change and I will be videotaping some other things, so don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and share with a friend. And I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>